Hello, I'm so pleased to have a chance to talk to you about some of the things Inspira is doing, especially not only internally, but externally as well. We joined um, the First Lady of the State, Tammy Murphy, at the Salem Fun Fest. Many of the stakeholders that were available there were signing people up for programs, were making sure that they knew about services. I think we had three or four different tables of Inspira um, information from our pediatrics program, as well as our behavior health program, one of our maternity programs, and then we had the big van there to be actually do health screenings for people. It was a great day, a little bit of rain, but um, a lot of fun. And we are so grateful for the First Lady's uh, attention and focus on maternal mortality. Um, it's an area of grave concern, especially for African-American and Latino communities. And we are really partnering to make sure that we're doing our part to make sure that we can keep everybody as healthy as possible. One of the great things about working um, with all of the folks who work in our local hospitals and um, is that they not only give to their community as part of the, the work they do as their employment, but they're also the people who are the first to volunteer, either for community programs or also to serve our country. And we have many of those individuals in, at Inspira. And one I'd like to share with you today is Brett Gordon. He's a RN, works at Mullica Hill in the intensive care unit. So he's right in there every single day doing that um, most serious thing, being able to respond quickly. And Brett has served the Air National Guard. And so one of the things that the National Guard does is to say to employers, we thank you for providing all the support for them to be able to serve their country and you can apply to have one of your leaders come and do a fly along. So Brett filled out the application for his leader, Jim Kniestout, and Jim was able to take part. He was able to go on the mission with them, fly along with them, and most importantly, really feel the full embrace of the Air National Guard and the work that they do. And also just a thank you um, for us as employers. Obviously, we love um, supporting them, love supporting the, our country to be able to have that expertise. We thank Brett for his tremendous service um, to the country as well as to the community. And now I wanna share continued service to our community um, recognition has been given to some of our top doctors by South Jersey Magazine. Now again, we always think all of our physicians should be recognized and called out, but we really do want to support South Jersey Magazine and they're giving us the chance to showcase some of our best. So you can see on the screen all of the um, physicians that have been recognized, their names are there, and please join me in congratulating them. We're so very proud of the great work they do for our community and especially for their patients. So the state of New Jersey, um, at the end of COVID, as every other state in the nation, is doing a renewal of the eligibility for Medicaid. So if indeed you are on Medicaid, please make sure your address is up to date and that you pay attention to the mailings that are coming out. There's a website that will provide some frequently asked questions for you and provide those answers. Please make sure that you have checked in with the Medicaid office, made sure your address is correct, and there's an 800 number also that you can call. It's very important that we make sure that people have access to these vital services and coverage um, and again, we want to be able to support you in any way we possibly can. So today's story I want to tell you um, is about another person who gives so much back to their community. Craig Staffieri is a police officer in Monroe Township. Craig has served our country as a veteran. He's uh, an expert in martial arts. He has a very active lifestyle. And recently he found himself um, in a jiu-jitsu competition and he heard something give. He felt the pain, but he went right through with the competition and three days later decided, maybe I should go have somebody look at this. He was referred to Dr. Mark Eisenberg from Premier Orthopedics. And this specific tendon is very rare um, as a surgical intervention and very rare to be torn. So Dr. Eisenberg does what all doctors do. He started looking all around the country to find a surgical intervention that had been done, one that had been successful, something that he could really un you know, understand and learn from. And sure enough, he just struck out. There's nothing that was actually published or, or shown on that. Obviously, Craig was in tremendous pain. Uh, they needed to be able to intervene. And so Dr. Eisenberg went ahead and did the procedure and had just a tremendous outcome, such that he actually um, did a video on the whole procedure itself and shared that video broadly so that if others actually found themselves in that situation, they would actually have that expertise and be able to learn from what Dr. Eisenberg did and how well Craig actually had healed. Sure enough, fast forward, there's a gentleman from the Middle East. He has this same torn tendon and he's looking for surgical interventions and he finds um, Dr. Eisenberg's video and sure enough, he comes all the way over to the States to be able to have Dr. Eisenberg perform the same surgery. And he too had a wonderful outcome. It's amazing 
amazing that we can use the technology not only to make sure that we are looking and seeking and finding the right things that are already out there, but we're actually leading the way. And that's really one of the things that we, we try so hard to reinforce is that um, we have our physicians here who are absolutely hungry to make sure that they can get you the best that you absolutely can have, the latest procedures, the best take treatment. And if we can't find that, then actually making sure we take that opportunity to, to lead the way ourselves as Dr. Eisenberg has done. We're so grateful for um, his leadership, for his continued commitment to our community and to the um, orthopedic practice that we can all learn from, both Craig as well as a gentleman from the Middle East. I want to thank all of you for your continued trust in us, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. I wish you all a very happy 4th of July. Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.